For the past four years, I drove this minivan across the country four times. Every trip, I learned something and I made modifications. And this is the result after 65,000 miles. I bought this minivan with the intention of using it as my cross-country RV. I need a bed for two persons and a dog. I also need a comfortable workstation to work on my laptop. Since I'm always on the move, able to take a nap between long drives is a must. I'm not van life, but able to stay in the wild for a week or so is the ultimate goal. I only built a protective raised floor in the middle sections since raising the whole floor will take up too much valuable space. The wall cabinet really helps me to keep my stuff organized. First I built a cardboard mock-up, then I made a template for each piece. I test fit each piece before I screw them together. I secured the top to the pull handle of the van, then I fastened the bottom to wood strips I made earlier. There are many ways to attach the bed rails and legs together, but I prefer to use the biscuits joiner for their clean look. To stop the bed from moving, I tie down the bed to the existing floor hooks. I also secure its legs with steel angle brackets. The five sections bed panels were then bolted to the frame with two carriage bolts. When the weather is cold, I use a 10 degree down quilt with a cover. For privacy, I cover the windows with reflectix panels. They are not pretty, but works. For the front, I use plastic coated wire for hanging the black out curtain. I use magnet to hold the curtain tight against the window frame. I like to keep the moonroof open at night for ventilation. To keep the box out, I made a box screen. For details of how to make the screen, please check out my links below. If you like this video, don't forget to share, like and subscribe. When you are on a long trip, weather is very unpredictable. Also, there are places such as Walmarts. Cooking outside would not be an option. For washing, I find the collapsible pan is more useful than a built-in sink. Not only it takes up less space when not in use, it is also bigger. I even use it to wash my hair. I always carry at least 7 gallons of fresh water and I refill the tank whenever I can. The electric fridge is really a game changer for long distance travel. The one I have is a 40 liter compressor type fridge. It is very efficient and I can't go travel without it. To make it more efficient, I add an inch and a half thick insulation on top.
To secure the fridge, I add some wooden floor stop. For lighting, I have a dimmable USB LED strip light and a rechargeable fan. This counter extension was created using part of my bed panel. When we are driving, my dog never liked the sofa mode. I installed hooks on my wall cabinet to hang my daily essentials. The mesh bag is for daily quick access items such as my pill box, wallets, flashlights, lipsticks, etc. Top shelf, I keep my hygiene, cooking, and coffee making stuff. Below to the left is my closet. I keep my underwear, socks, t shirts, pants in a separate zipper bags. The bottom part is narrow but still good enough for things like gas bottles, water, and maybe uh, something like toilet paper that you don't use too often. On the right side, I keep my Bible, my thermal bottle, my DD bags, and my shower pouch. I also carry a jump starter just in case. And I also carry a pair of binoculars. During the day, I keep my back panel like this. I have a large elastic mesh pocket to store all my reflectix, window shades, and hats. For easy access, I put my camera on top, and then below is my snack bags. Next to my snacks is my dirty laundry bag. And I still got plenty of room to store my trail runners, hiking boots, as well as some more dry food and backpacking food. Next to my dog food is my map pouch, collapsible pen, my laptop, and a window squeegee. Inside the wheel well, I have bear spray. I also have tool bag, as well as micro spikes for hiking. I also have a power chainsaw which is handy for cutting wood and I also carry a tire pump and an axe is essential for camping and how about fishing rod and also a tire repair kit and last is the first aid kit for electrical I want a simple setup I use the Jackery 500 power generator to run my fridge it's only 500 watts, but it is adequate for my type of travel. I keep all my cooking utensils, pots, pan, bowls, paper plates, napkins, all goes into this bag. Under the bed, I keep some dry food, instant noodles, canned food, for easy access. Being caught on snowstorm is no joke. For this reason, I want the best tires possible. I'm happy that I have the Michelin Cross Climate 2 all season tires. It costs a bit more than regular tires, but totally worth it. Window deflector is a must during rainy nights to keep your windows open. 
For canopy, I just carry a 7x10 white top, which I can set up in 10 minutes. I keep my solar panel, backpacking gear, and many more items inside the roof box, and I did not notice any reduction in gas mileage. I prefer portable solar panel because I can put it anywhere I want. In my recent six weeks trip to Colorado, it kept my fridge running throughout the entire trip. When I go backpacking, I can still use it to charge my battery. If you like this video, please like and subscribe. Thank you for watching and I see you on the road.